Hi everyone, it's uh, Nick from Bullet Glass Company in Perth. Just wanted to show you a couple of these new designs. This one's um, I've done uh, honouring my two grandfathers who served in First World War. Um, you can see I've melted the sunrise in on the front and these are the actual ribbons from the medals. If you can see, it's quite hard to see, I suppose, but they've actually been melted in. Um, they're encased in the glass, so you can't actually touch them. Um, and on the back, I've engraved the Australian flag and um, my pop's service number and his, uh, his name. I've also done something different this time. I've put um, his name um, behind the ribbons. So just something different. So, you know, it's like every time I have a mouthful, I can I can see his name and stuff, and I just think it's really different. Um, I'm also doing, they're in a, a three configuration. Um, also doing the whiskey glasses. Um, these are the same. You can see how the um, glasses are melted, embedded in there. And um, you can see on the back, um, they're sort of melted right in there and encased in the glass as well. So there's three different types. I do a whiskey glass. These are handmade whiskey glasses. Um, the pint, which is a full pint glass, and uh, a 500 mil stein. The steins have, uh, have come up really nice um, with the, the, the ribbons and stuff inside as well. And uh, you can see on the side too that they've been um, really nicely melted in. Um, they've kept their shape. They look fantastic. None of these stuff, uh, I don't let any of the glasses go out unless they're perfect. Um, and they take a long, long time to do. Um, and there's a lot of different ones I've done. You know, some amazing, I've met some amazing people, but, uh, you know, I've done, um, you know, glasses for um, Gallipoli campaigns, uh, the Rats of Tobruk, um, even the Light Horse, to name a few. Um, it's interesting fact, too, with the, the Light Horse, don't know if you recall, they used to wear um, emu feathers in uh, on their caps. And it's actually um, not a well-known fact, but the, um, the, the the horsemen used to go out and um, uh, had to catch an emu and pluck the feathers out. And, and that was their sort of, um, uh, yeah, that just showed people that they were, they were experienced and um, very good horsemen. Um, the glasses all come in a beautiful... Um, silk line display box as well here it is here I thought I'd show you guys um, so they come very well presented um, they do take many many hours to do um, especially these new ones with the ribbons uh, they don't all turn out um, a lot of them sometimes it takes me about three or four goes to get one glass so I've got a lot of um, glasses um, you know there that um, I uh, um, we'll be recycling and stuff, but um, it's just something different. I think it's a, a great way to honour our um, past and serving soldiers, and it's really unique, something different and very personal. You know, these things can be handed down, um, and, uh, you know, they're going to be all around a lot longer than I will be, so um, it's, it's great um, to be able to do something and um, leave a mark on it. So, But I hope you like them. Um, they are all available. Um, and can be customised, um, and there's a lot of different configurations, as I said. But um, have a look at the video, see what you think, and um, I'd be keen to hear your, your your views on it. Thanks very much.